I don't have any reptile geeks. There's got to be some reptile geeks out there. What a cunt. Um, yeah, apparently they're not interested in, in my tits. <laughs> in my tits. What's your weapon of choice? A dildo. With force. Um. <laughs> He has this, this, this lovely orange pattern on his back. It's a shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wipe. Um. <laughs> Just unplug this for a split second and <laughs> look at my dick. Um, like hi. <laughs> That's the the timer. The timer saying it's time to. Uh, That's my new favorite artist. <laughs> You'll have to let me know when uh, you're about. I'm gonna get chat up on the here. So shut up. I'm just gonna make sure as well that you can't tell where I am or anything. I'll kill you. Yeah, I think everything's good. Alright, I'm gonna get chit chat up now. Sometimes I, mm, I don't like to do it, but sometimes I go first class because then I get space and I'm not gonna punch a baby. Um. Because weirdly, babies don't make me as chill as animals do. Like, I don't, I know I'm not gonna hurt an animal, I'm not gonna, like, smash a tarantula or whatever, but... Um, I, that children don't have that effect on me, so I just stay away from them. Um, so sometimes it's just safer to go in first class, because you have a single seat to yourself, you get space, there's no one, like, brushing up against you all the time. So, but I don't like to do it, because it's very pricey. He needs a lot of love. I will thaw out your grandma's cunt. Are they hair dryer? Ow! You ain't crusty now! <laughs> That's one I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> Maybe? Um. Wow, it's still daylight and everything. Um. Like this. Let's shut up! How things look without my floodlights. It's pretty creepy. This is like what you see when you're sleeping and you're convinced you're alone in your room and then you just see this. Yeah, that'd be really fun. We can make something together. Yeah, a baby! <laughs> <laughs> Ten babies! <Yes>. Now! <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one I'd have ten babies with. <laughs> gave me an intrusive thought like that, I'd worry about it and I'd do it, but I, I'm fine, I'm really safe around animals, and I find that a lot of people with Tourette syndrome are, and I think part of it is that you end up, like, there's a specific way you have to think when you're considering another creature that doesn't communicate verbally, 
So you're focusing on them and what their actions mean and how they're thinking and feeling. And it just is very, very engaging. Like my whole world is this little spider right now. Like I don't have any intrusive thoughts. I find it very easy to focus on them. I find, I just find owls, I think differently. I feel like I'm using a part of my brain that doesn't mal malfunction often. <laughs> it, it, I don't know how else to describe it, but I don't know whether I'm contextualizing things and trying to explain things that I don't understand and being wide off the mark for the neurological effects of animals on people with Tourette's syndrome. I don't know what it is, but I, if, I, if I had ticks that were a danger to animals, I would never handle them. Never, 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 